For hundreds of tenants at Seaview Loft Apartments in Newport News, they're spending their holidays away from home. As we've reported, tenants were given 48 hours notice to get out this summer. The building was condemned for a long list of safety concerns. Some residents have filed lawsuits. Tenant side investigative reporter Julie Millay has been following the story. She has an update on how these residents are bracing for winter. Julie? Yeah, as many of us prepare to celebrate the holidays with our family at home, Regina, many of these residents tell me they don't have a home or a place for their family to gather at this year. This is home for right now. I actually just cleaned it out. Nathan Robinson has been living in his car since July. I usually just lay this seat back all the way. I got where I can lay it all the way back and just cover up with blankets. And you, do you leave the heat running as long as you can? Then I cut it off and go to sleep. He was one of hundreds who was living in the Seaview Lofts until a judge condemned the apartment building and ordered everyone out with just two days notice. Since then, the legal battles have been ongoing. In August, building landlord Ben Weinstein was fined $1,000 a day until he made the repairs necessary to get the building safe and up to code. I'm feeling very disgusted with the city and the owner and this uh, procrastination and getting these repairs done. You know, you see people out there homeless. Never say that'll never be you. Tanya Wade, who had been living at the Seaview Lofts for more than 10 years before the condemnation, has also been living out of her car since July. It's a situation that she says is hardest this time of year. And not being able to buy gifts for your loved ones. Landlord Ben Weinstein is currently facing two lawsuits from residents. One of them asked for up to $250,000 in damages for more than 50 plaintiffs. The filings are currently being mediated, but we're told a settlement isn't likely to happen in the near future. I hope he sleeps good at night knowing that he's able to like I said, celebrate the holidays with his family and sleep in a warm bed at night. Landlord Ben Weinstein is due back in court in February for an update on those building repairs. For now, I'm Julie Millay, 10 on your side.